Hi, it's Panda Movies here. Today, I'm going to explain the movie called Demolition Man. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Enjoy the video. Simon Phoenix, a sadistic career criminal, kidnaps a busload of hostages in 1996 and hides out in an abandoned building. Sergeant John Spartan of the Los Angeles Police Department dubbed the Demolition Man for the huge amounts of collateral damage he frequently causes while apprehending offenders, mounts an unlawful assault to apprehend Phoenix. He attacks the building and faces Phoenix, who sets off explosives to destroy it when a thermal scan of the surroundings reveals no evidence of the hostages. The bodies of the captives are later discovered in the rubble, and Phoenix claims that Spartan was aware of their presence, but attacked nevertheless. Both individuals have been condemned to long sentences in the city's new California cryopenitentiary, a facility where inmates are cryogenically frozen and subjected to subliminal rehabilitative procedures. In the year 2032, Dr. Raymond Cocteau planned and controlled the metropolis of San Angeles, a megalopolis produced by the amalgamation of Los Angeles, San Diego, and Santa Barbara. Phoenix is thought for a parole hearing and escapes the cryo prison by speaking a secret password, which he had learned without knowing how. He then murders his guards and the warden before entering the city and easily overpowering and killing several police officers who have never had to cope with violent crime. Alcohol, swearing, eating meat, and having sex have all been declared banned activities. Spartan, on the other hand, is viewed as savage and uncivilized by many members of the police force and the general public, while Huxley idolizes him. Spartan leads Huxley to a museum where he finds Phoenix stealing a weapons exhibit, anticipating Phoenix's effort to get weaponry. Phoenix is even deadlier than before, displaying expert-level talent in a wide range of skills, including martial arts and computer hacking, much to Spartan's amazement. Phoenix eludes capture and holds Cocteau at gunpoint, but is unable to assassinate him because Cocteau had programmed a directive into his rehabilitation software to prohibit him from doing so. Instead, Cocteau instructs Phoenix to assassinate Edgar Friendly, the head of the Scraps, a resistance group that lives in the ruins of ancient Los Angeles, and refuses to submit to Cocteau's moral beliefs. Security cameras capture this encounter, and Spartan and Huxley study the cryo prison records. They learn that Cocteau designed Phoenix's rehabilitation program to make him even more dangerous than he was in 1996, whereas Spartan's program taught him to knit and sew. Phoenix persuades Cocteau to release extra cryo prisoners for his gang and leads them underground to hunt Friendly, as they figure that Friendly is being targeted for murder. Spartan and Huxley go underground to save Friendly from an assassination attempt by Phoenix after earlier seeing the scraps during a food raid at a restaurant. Phoenix mocks Spartan by revealing that he had framed him for the deaths of the 1996 captives, who were already dead when the building imploded. Spartan pursues Phoenix to the cryo prison, armed with weapons provided by the scraps. Phoenix, unable to harm Cocteau, has a gang member assassinate him and begins thawing out the cryo most prison's dangerous inmates. For Huxley's protection, Spartan incapacitates her and battles Phoenix, smashing a vial of a cryogenic substance that freezes Phoenix's body solid. Spartan kicks his head off, breaking it, and flees as the cryo prison explodes due to the uncontrolled quick freezing effect. The police fear that the loss of Cocteau and the cryo prison will bring society to an end, but Spartan offers that they work together with the scraps to combine the best features of order and personal liberty. He kisses Huxley and the two of them walk away together.